solving a value mixture problem using a linear equation. Charlie's Coffee Shop makes a blend that is a mixture of two types of coffee. Type A coffee costs $4.30 er, per pound and type B coffee costs $5.80 per pound. This month, Charlie made 154 pounds of the blend. So I have a total of 154. That's going to help me out for a total cost of $786.70. How many pounds of type A coffee did he use? Well, the total cost would be $4.30 times every pound of coffee A plus $5.80 times every pound of coffee B and that would give me $786.70. But I'm not solving for B. I can't have two variables here because I need to solve this equation. And I can only solve an equation if I have one variable. And I want to solve for A. So I need to replace this B and figure out how could I write or represent B, the amount of coffee B, but write it using the variable A. So if I think about it, I'm just going to use some specific examples here for a minute. So blend A or coffee A, coffee B, and this is where the 154 pounds comes in. So I know together, however many pounds of A and however many pounds of B, they total 154. So if I had 10 pounds of A, coffee A, then there would have to be 144 pounds of coffee B. And the way I figure that out is I say, okay, I know there's a total of 154. If I subtract out my A coffee, then I'm left with the B coffee. Similarly, if there was 20 pounds of this, there would be 134 pounds of coffee B because I do 154 minus the 20 pounds of coffee A. I need to scoop this one over a little bit. It went out of frame. So this one here was 154 minus 10. So if I keep doing this and just put in, put in specific numbers, okay, what if there was 35 pounds of coffee A? Well, I do 154 minus 35 to figure out coffee B here. And that would give me uh, let's put it in, 154 minus 35, that would give me 119 pounds of coffee B. So whatever is here, if I want to figure out the amount of B, I just do 154 minus however many pounds of A. And that will tell me what goes here. So instead of B, if I want to know how many pounds of B, I could just replace that with I would just do 154 minus however many pounds of A to figure out what the amount of coffee B was or how many pounds. Now I can go ahead and solve my equation because I have just one variable. So now I'm just going to go through my regular steps to solve. So I'm going to distribute here to get rid of the parentheses. So $4.30 times A plus, now I need to do 5.8 times 54. So 5.8 times 154 gives me 893.20. Minus 5.8 times A equals 786.70. Now I'm going to simplify this side if I can, and I see I have two A terms. So I'm going to combine those like terms. So 4.3 minus 5.8. is negative. 1.5a, and then I have this constant term with no variable on it, so plus 893.20 equals 
and I still have this 78670 on the right side. Now I have my variable here. I need to get the variable by itself. So before I deal with the coefficient attached directly to the variable, I want to get rid of any other terms over here. So to undo or zero out this plus 893.20, I'm going to subtract 893.20. But to keep my equation balanced, I have to do it to both sides. So 893.20. That makes zero, so I'm left with just negative 1.5a on the left side. And over here, I'm going to simplify, so 786.7 minus my 893.2 gives me negative 106.5. Now to get the a by itself, the last thing I have to do is divide out the coefficient. So divide by 1 .5, negative 1.5, both sides. That reduces to 1, right there, 1a. One and if I simplify over here, negative 106.5 divided by negative 1.5, I get 71. So A is 71, or there were 71 pounds of A, copy A, which means that if I did the 154 over here, right, if there is 71 pounds of A, then that means there were 83 pounds of copy B, because I had to do the 154 minus the 71. And if I put these numbers in, at these prices and check it, then I'll see it actually does total $786.70.